What's going on guys? Victor here. This is not clickbait. This guy is going to become dinner. This is a fish known as the Jack Crevel. A lot of people are terrified of eating this fish. I've eaten smaller ones before, but today I want to put the myth to rest that these big Jack Crevels are no good and that they're trash fish. I'm on the boat with Adam today. He's behind the camera. Yo. If you guys don't know who this is, this is my good buddy Adam. He's got his own channel, Moving Weight. I'm going to have it linked below. He just got done filming a bunch of videos in the Bahamas, spearfishing right. stuff. You guys got black grouper, tunas, everything, right? We did. You're coming on the next trip. I hope so. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Gosh. Okay. All right, guys. Here's what we got. Oh, we just got off. Here's what we got going on right now. We just had a huge swell out front of where we live. You can see. I mean, I don't know if you can see on camera. We got big rollers. Usually, when that happens, those greenies will push down from way up north and came out here to a wreck real deep. Sure enough, picking out a couple greenies, probably like two dozen. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just mentally prepared for today's video. Okay, we're gonna deal, Cobia. I'm excited. Put, put Vic on a nice coke there. Hope I don't jinx myself. But we got we got the chosen baits. Look in the well. Well, oh, butterfish and beautiful greenies. Look at these things. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. What? Little translation for you guys. What Adam means is uh, we got the sabikis down looking for bait. We got a mixture of runners, butterfish. I don't know if you guys have ever seen butterfish on the channel. They're these funky looking fish right here. Kind of look like a bunker, not as oily. Kobe, I'll eat them, but this is what we're really after right here, greenies. Greenies, a lot of people call them thread canaring. We don't do that here, we're not sail fishermen. <laughs> well, I'm about to get some hate back. Really shooting your shot, aren't you? <laughs> it's a butterfish, or people call them horn bellies, because right there, super sharp, and that's why fish don't like them. If fish goes to eat them, and it literally pokes them in the mouth and they spit it out. If you cut them off, I'd sure, I'm sure they'd work all right, but. Greenies are definitely gonna be the chosen bait for today. We got Chief the Master putting us on there the you bait. Go. We'll Big team effort out here. Yes, it is. Okay, okay. All right, guys, we got the live well full of baits. Feeling confident. Okay, we're running out, but. doing a little we're cutting up some uh some butterfish for chunks if we get those cobias up to the top oh if you'll catch one sometimes the whole school will come up to the surface we want to keep around the boat and catch them as quick as we can so we're cutting these butterfish up you're on the wreck though okay. Okay. Yeah, they're both on. I got a coat for sure. Big, big head oh, shake. Oh, yeah, big. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> you guys are on the wreck, That's unfortunately. Right Hopefully, we'll get them off the wreck. Mine just broke me off in the wreck. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are on the wreck. Mine really felt like a coat. No. No? Shark? No, it's coming. Oh. It's sliding off. All right, I just broke mine off. Too. So we're out here just drifting with our thread fins on bottom and I think you probably had an AJ too. Yeah, I did. We both so, got eight at the same time. This is actually an undersized fish. We gotta let it go. Eat. We rig, catch a coat. Get him. Get him. Oh boy. Is that on bottom? Just don't be a jack. Oh, you got it. You're on big. Here, go, go. <laughs> Here, go ahead. Set it up. <laughs> we're on, we're on. We're doubled off. Put it, put, put it up. I clicked record, but it's not going. Right, throw it. It's okay. <laughs> Where's Ryan? <laughs> hey, I got the fish on, though. Right, you're fine. Oh, what do you want worried. me to do with that? Watch, this is going to be a cove. <laughs> All right, me and Vicker both. <laughs> I can almost tell you those are drops. 
never know, but I think I know. <laughs> We got him pinwheeling. We got him pinwheeling. Good news. Marking nice fish there. Good. Oh, that might be yeah, a keeper. That is. Yeah. is that a crevasse? Oh, oh two big crevasses. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice hard <laughs> tail. <laughs> big, big old hard tail. Is he going to gap? Ram. <laughs> <laughs> We don't catch anything to eat today. That's what we're eating. Right? You are not. Oh, yes. You are not eating yes. a hardtail, Vic. Yes, oh. I am. Oh. I've been waiting to catch a big one like that <laughs> and eat it. Nice red meat. <laughs> Steak of the sea. No, oh, mm. my this God. This is 230 pounds though. <laughs> Maybe not. It's 25. I'm a loose guy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Vic. You know, you're a little sus. Hey, come on, for the boys. <laughs> a little sus. Here, I'll do. Those are some two hard fighting fish right there. Hold them close together. Giant jack. Think about that. I'll <laughs> be a nice thumbnail, won't it? Yeah, it will. You want to uh, take? You want to take? I'm telling you right now. We're out here to try to catch a cove. We might have vermilion fish, but I'm telling you, if we don't catch anything, this guy is going home for dinner. I'm not <laughs> trying to eat a three five pound jack. I want the full deal. Of a 25 pounder, 20 pounder, prove people that these are good eating. I'm gonna bleed them right now just to show you. Adam is very suspect. I'm very suspect. So scotchy. <laughs> Chief, what do you have to say about that? Very scotchy. Very scotchy. All right, here, let me grab you. Oh, Chief's on. Adam's on. One, you think? Mm -hmm. Are you guys, do you? We don't like it. Another hardtail. All right, guys. So we've gone to like four different wrecks now, just dropping baits at every single one. Caught jacks at a few of them. Adam thinks he lost the Kobe. Yeah. I know I lost. All right, let me show you the rig we're using. Got a very petite greeny, uh, 60 pound tough line fluoro, then a three ounce lead above my leader. I'm telling you, I'm just telling you, I just lost a cove. And he's dropping it down. Chief's got a flat line, and then I'm dropping down the squid special. We're having a lot of trouble with jacks, jack crevels, and amber jacks eating our baits. They kind of tend to avoid the dead stuff, so I'm gonna drop a squid down. Kobe are not picky, so we're gonna see if they'll eat that. <laughs> I got a Kobe. Came back yeah, I got, that popped up. Great. Chief's coming up. Oh. Yes. Right here, yeah, little one. Is it a Kobe? Yeah, another oh, one yeah. following it, little one. No followers? No. Oh, I think I hope to get one. No Kobe. Yeah, I got a quick whack. Why don't we go to the bait remark? All right, boys. Vic was tight on something. Got him in the wreck. I just caught this short little cobia. Scout, let go. I'm about to let him go real quick. This is not happening. No way I'm losing this fish. Put her off. No, this is it. He's eating it right now. This is a different fish. Really? Yes, dude. You had a big one. So the, there's... Uh, you on? Yeah. Adam, your GoPro won't turn on. Dude, he keeps spinning it. The hook, they're too big. Oh, it's right here. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Get the GoPro, get the GoPro. He's gonna eat it right here. The GoPro's on. Oh my god. Adam's got a big dolphin that just stayed his bait. Stick him like 10 times. Dude, I... Oh, he spit it, it again! I don't understand. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I didn't mean to get it, Chief. Your GoPro was not turning on. Nope. We got a big dolphin. I hooked him first on the jig. Adam's hooked, hooked him like him three times. Time and then she finally oh showed us what's up. I don't think that's the same fish. No way. No, no that's a smaller ready, fish, ready, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Here. 
I think that might be a smaller one. No, that's it. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Is it done? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, that's. Oh, my God. He ate the jig, dude. This is the dumbest dolphin I've ever seen. Nice, Adam. Fish, dude. Way to go, Chief. Yeah, thank you. Go. Thank you, Chief. Oh, the triple hook never fails. Yeah, I just saw a single one. I don't know what. I... <laughs> Me, dude. Okay, first of all, you should have seen that fish trying to eat my bait on top. You guys, we got out here. We were gonna go and look for tilefish, but there is weeds everywhere. We got a really nice, big, thick weed line. And we were here for three minutes. I was just randomly casting the bucktail. This dolphin ate my bucktail, spit it. Where's my bait? Adam got inhaled like four times on that bait. He, he was, kept spitting he was it. Popping out of the water. Incredible. Yeah. That's nice. a nice one. Look at that, beautiful. Woo! Boys, this ain't New Jersey. This ain't Jersey, but it's a chop. We're in 70 feet of water, we just caught a bluefish. What do you gotta say about that? That's how you know the that's how you know there's a swell and something ain't right. You gonna eat that you gonna eat that along with your jack pick? This guy probably not. I'm, I'll be we're pretty full for my jack. Probably. Yeah. These are good eating though, as long as you bleed them, smoke them. That guy doesn't have big teeth, but he's got chompers. He'll clean cut your finger. Can't you? Well guys, we gave it all we got. We tried a little bit of everything, like I said, but check this out. Nice. One nice dolphin. Dolly. And beautiful. We lost another bigger one, sadly. He never came back for it. Very depressing. It's funny because these two consider this a slow day. Well, that's because they're on a commercial boat, so they gotta catch a lot of fish to make money. So today's not a big payday, but not slow by any means for the recreational guy. I mean, you get on some jacks, you get on some amber jacks, and then one nice dolphin, and then another smaller one. You got dinner, you got a show. I mean, I had a ton of fun. Chifo, thank you once again. Pleasure, Victor, thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you. If you guys haven't already, like I said, subscribe to Adam, Moving Weight. I'm gonna have him linked below. You know the deal. And I'll catch you guys at the filet table. This is going to be the real test. You always say I can make anything taste good. Well, my mom used to cook these for me when I was a kid. This big? Uh, not this big. I, I didn't catch them that big. But she used to take and make uh, fish cakes like Brooke. Only instead of using the um, breadcrumbs, she used mashed potatoes. Uh, and even Jack mm -hmm. Cravel, it with you know fish cakes with a little bit of ketchup or sauce on them. They were they were they were good. Big old Jack Cravel. I love these fish. Growing up on the pier, we live for these things. Not every year, but in the springtime, we always got a big run of them. It was like every other year, every two, three years, and you just see these hordes of basically the water would tur turn yellow. You saw them way across from the pier. All my pier guys out there, you know what I'm talking about. We lived for these fish because it was one of the biggest, most badass things you could catch on the pier. We used to use them for shark bait, and here I am about to make fish tacos out of them. Soft part of the head meat down around there and I already know this guy's gonna give me trouble around the rib cage. Any jack species has a huge rib cage. So the bigger these fish get the redder the meat is and that's why people avoid them. I know they're very bloody fish. Real bloody fish. Oh, that's red all right. It's looking like a tuna. You know, but he was bled. We took care of him. He was on ice. So, I'm really not worried. Alright guys. It's looking more and more like a steak now that I look at it. It is very bloody. So where we are currently is my parents' backyard and this is where I grew up. And we used to fish in the backyard all the time and we'd catch things and we'd cook them. We'd cook snappers and puffer fish and maharas and all kinds of stuff like that. And I remember one time I caught a big jack and I was like, dad, let's eat it. And my dad was like, I don't know if you want to eat that big thing. And I was like, no, I want to eat it. He's like, all right, you know, we'll try it. 
He goes, and then if you don't like it, then you'll know you never want to eat another another one again. And so I was like, no, let's try it, let's try it. And I'm pretty sure we just fried it. And it was fishy. You know, we didn't bleed it though. It was not as big as this one, but it was a decent size one. We've ate small Jack Cravels on the channel. I'm pretty sure we were in the Keys and we even did a test, didn't we, on Chris? We did. We did a little one where we compared it to Mangrove Snapper. Right? Yeah, we compared Mangrove Snapper to like a smaller Jack Cravel and it was actually really, really good. But the meat was not red like this one. And I remember when I was a kid and I was like, I'm never killing and eating a Jack Cravel ever again after I ate that one. My dad was like, I told you so. So that's why I'm feeling a little nervous about this thing already because this meat is red. Jacks are graded at the market based on their size. You have U2s, so what, that's under two pounds. And then you have, I think you're like two to threes. And then you have, I think anything over five pounds. They pay more for the smaller fish. This is by far the reddest meat I have seen on any fish besides a tuna, aside from a sailfish. This really red, red kind of oily stuff, I'm gonna try to trim away so that we basically, we're just gonna end up with this, this right here. You don't want that. You don't want any part of that in your final product. It looks like steak. I'm gonna treat it like steak. Since I have eight people coming over, I already cooked it once with just olive oil and salt. I kid you not, it smelt like steak. Kind of tasted like steak, so I'm gonna treat it like it. And we're gonna do fish tacos. I got them cut up into about these size pieces, not too thick, something that's not intimidating. And I was very surprised. This is not a tough piece of fish. What I got in here, we got some branch and vine, orange, blo orange blossom honey, some Persian lime olive oil, which is nice because if you ever wanna do a marinade or get some type of, you know, citric flavor, lemon lime. You never want to marinate your fish in pure lime juice because as you guys know with ceviche, it's gonna cook it. So you get that infusion right there. A little bit of rice vinegar. I had some leftover lemon zest. Kind of just went in the fridge and threw a bunch of stuff together. What made it green? What made it green was cilantro. We also got garlic powder, cumin, chili powder, paprika, and coriander. All very, kind of taco-y spices, I guess you could say. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak our fish in this stuff and let it marinate. And when I was at the filet table, I knew one challenge to this fish was gonna be making sure I took out all the bloodline and just took out anything that did not look good. There was quite a bit of waste with this jack, but that's just the nature of the fish. You know, they got a lot of bloodline, they got a, a lot of oil, so you gotta clean it up and make it look nice. Marinated Jack, we're out here on the grill, going on the nonstick. We'll see. I didn't add any oil to this pan because they were marinated in some oil, so. It's like we're gonna have to do multiple batches. I mean, look at this. I just flipped them. They got a beautiful little char on them. I think they're gonna be super good. Look at that. I think they're gonna be phenomenal. Especially cooked this way. Fred's a taco master. This is his craft right here. I am an enthusiast. It's, tacos are my favorite food. Me too. Tacos and pizza. <laughs> Me too. No, it's not blackened. It's it's a little homemade marinade. Ugh. It's uh, cilantro and lime and back to back olive oil. And... For me. I got I got the head nod. I'm telling you, I've been eating some really quality fish over here, African pompano and grouper, and I was a little bit like Jack Ravel. But you know what? It just it just eats good in these tacos much better than I thought. They're you know Jack Ravel. You don't, you don't even know what kind of fish it is. It's just it's just fish. I kind of like the texture. It's, it's nice it and is firm. A, it is a nice nice texture. It's good. You were right. You made it taste good. Thank you. First bite. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Little street taco shells. First you gotta go down with the guac. That's the foundation of your taco. It's the glue, holds everything together. Little homemade guac. And then honestly, I. Like I said, they look like steaks. I treated them like steaks. They're nice and firm. I mean, look at that. 
It really looks like a good piece of fish. And everybody at the table is saying the same thing. Good thing you made all that, huh? Yeah. Whoops. This is a little homemade slaw. Jackerville tacos. Just simple, yet elegant. They're delicious. Fish, not fishy at all? Not fishy at all. It was perfect. Awesome. I already finished my first taco. It was so good. All the flavors were mixed in perfectly. Good job. They're super good. Don't get me wrong, but it's kind of hard to taste the fish by itself because there's so many ingredients. And even though this fish was probably cooked to perfection, if you have a fish that might not be as good a fare as some of the other fish you like to catch, this could be a good recipe for those because it just tastes so good because there's so many different ingredients mixed in. So I think Fisher hit the nail on the head with his comment about like with a taco, you don't really taste much of the fish, but honestly, this fish was very good and I was really pleased with it and very, very surprised. You guys saw the color of the meat on like anything we've ever seen before, so you don't really know what to expect with that kind of thing. And as soon as we got home, I'm talking as soon as we got it home, Victor threw a pan on the grill and he grilled a little chunk like this big just with some butter and the salt to taste it to see how he wanted to cook it. And it, he was like, it tastes like steak and then just like went with his marinade, but it was just crazy that that color fish, it really, really does prove that there is no trash fish, just trash cooks because this was far from trash. It was very, very delicious. I just ate nine tacos. <laughs> <laughs> and when we were kids, we used to catch Jack Ravels in the backyard all the time, and we'd always throw them back, and it just makes me think we could have eaten so many tacos. So I just wish we had known back then. I have one more thing to say. You guys, sorry. You guys heard um, the story that I told earlier. I told the story, Dad, remember how I caught a Jack, and I, I was like, let's cook it, and you were like, I don't think we should, but we'll taste it, and if you don't like it, we'll never kill another one, remember? And so having that in my mind, I don't know exactly how we prepared it, but Victor did the best thing he could possibly do with this fish. He bled it and took out every single bit of bloodline, and that's what I think really made this fish taste good. I'm not trying to mask the fish at all. Every fish has its place in a kitchen or at a dinner table, and that's what you gotta learn with every single fish. That's why when I got home, I tested it out because I've never worked with a big jack like that. You gotta find out the texture, the consistency, whether it's oily. At first I wanted to fry it and I'm like, that's not gonna fly too good because it's already got a lot of flavor and a lot of oiliness. So you gotta work with what you got. And like Fisher said, the fact that you can't taste the fish doesn't mean that you're trying to mask it. Bad fish, bad shellfish, bad shrimp, bad steak, bad anything. If it's in a dish, you're gonna taste it. So if the fish is bad, it's gonna overpower anything you throw at it. So. I think it was excellent. Chief, Adam, don't turn your nose up to it. Next time you guys catch one, I suggest you take it home and try it. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.